Yeah, we found uh, 12 new moons of Jupiter and 11 of those are, were moons that are known to be in groups that were kind of already known. So uh, we haven't named those yet. We'll probably have a, some kind of public involvement to name those moons. But the very oddball, interesting orbit object, uh, which we're calling Valetudo, uh, we named because it's the great granddaughter of Jupiter and it's the goddess of uh, hygiene and health. And these are all outer moons of Jupiter. So there's the famous Galilean satellites, which are much closer to Jupiter. Uh, there's four of those. They're very large objects, uh, thousands of kilometers in size. Uh, these moons that we found, uh, the first group is about 10 million kilometers from Jupiter, and we call these the prograde uh, moons. They go around Jupiter in the same direction that Jupiter uh, rotates. And there were five of those known. Previously, we discovered two more in that group, so there's seven of those now. Uh, and then beyond this prograde group, there's what we call the retrograde uh, moons. And these are further out. They're about 25 million kilometers from Jupiter, and they all go around Jupiter in the opposite direction. Uh, they go the opposite direction that Jupiter rotates, and we found nine new moons in that population. But one of our new moons, uh, which we're calling Valetudo, is a prograde moon, but it's out at a distance of the retrograde moon. So it's, it's basically uh, going down the highway in the wrong direction. And so all the pro retrograde objects, uh, moons, are going in one way. Uh, Valetudo, the prograde object, is going the other way. And uh, there are likely head-on collisions have happened in the past. Uh, and they'll likely happen again in the future. So Valetudo is a very small object, it's only one kilometer in size. Uh, we think it probably was a much bigger moon in the past, 10 to 100 kilometers in size. Uh, and it's probably collided with these uh, other, object, other moons going the wrong direction, uh, the retrograde moons. Uh, and it's probably what's created these groups that we see today. And Valetudo is just simply the last remnant of a much bigger moon that has been mostly ground down to dust. All these uh, outer moons of Jupiter, the prograde and the retrograde ones, both of them we think were captured by Jupiter. So we don't think they formed with Jupiter. Uh, we think they formed near where Jupiter is to today uh, and got too close to Jupiter uh, and were captured by Jupiter. And so the way you get captured, if you approach Jupiter from the front, from the east, uh, you can get captured as a prograde object. If you approach Jupiter from behind, which is like the west direction, uh, you can get captured as a as the other retrograde objects. Jupiter has a lot of moons. It has 79 now known moons. Uh, and one of the big reasons for this is because Jupiter is such a large planet, has a very big sphere of influence, so it can capture things um, pretty easily if they get close to it in the past. It can't capture objects now because you need some kind of uh, mechanism to slow an object down to remove energy from its orbit. Otherwise, it can leave the same way it came in. But in the past, when Jupiter was forming, it probably had a lot of dust and gas around it that allowed it to capture a lot of these uh, moons. And then we think a lot of these moons have been impacted over time, probably from moon-moon collisions such as the Valetudo object striking the retrograde group objects. Uh, and so what we're finding is a lot of fragments of moons uh, that have been broken apart over time. The definition of a moon is pretty simple. It's just if an object orbits a planet and not the sun, uh, it's a moon. The Galilean moons uh, around Jupiter are very big objects, uh, and these moons we're finding now are only a few kilometers in size, so they're much smaller. Uh, they have much different histories, and so they're, they're quite different. Um, so we might, in the future, call uh, moons that are smaller than one kilometer, maybe we'll call them dwarf moons or something. <laughs>